Bad news for those of us hoping to see a rocket take off today. Today's historic SpaceX launch of NASA astronauts will not be going ahead as planned. It has now been delayed because of the weather. The new date is now set for this Saturday at around noon. This marks an historic occasion, the first time in nearly a decade that NASA astronauts will lift off from American soil. They're hitching a ride on a SpaceX rocket to the International Space Station. Now, when that rocket does eventually take off, One Valley Company will be playing a big part in the historic return of American space travel. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is over at the Fisher Space Pen Company with a look at their tech that just continues to make history. At first glance at this pen, you don't think much of it. You definitely wouldn't think that it's a massive achievement in the last half century of space travel, but it was, and it was all made inside of this Boulder City facility. Pins, pins, and more pins. Made by the thousands at Fisher Space Pins in Boulder City. The company is aptly named because they're the only ballpoint pen in the world that can be used in zero gravity. Our grandfather was one of the original pioneers of the ballpoint pen. Supervisor Paul Fisher's grandfather, also named Paul Fisher, invented the pen that can write while frozen, write underwater, and write in space. Sales manager Joseph Skidmore says that was critical for space travel. Normal pins won't write. Broken pencil graphite can float around the ship and fry electronics. The lead gets into the electronic wards, which can be a disaster if so much gets in. That's why Fisher Space Pins have been on every American space mission since Apollo 7 in 1968. 51 are on the International Space Station right now, waiting for the latest round of astronauts to be launched from the U.S. As a human race, we're intrigued about space, so it's exciting when we're getting back into a shuttle and going back into explore space. I couldn't be more over the moon. Space is far from this company's only frontier. Their latest hot seller is a pure brass pen with antimicrobial properties, popular now because of the coronavirus. The general public is looking at it going, hey, what a great benefit to have a pen. We've all done it, right? When you go down to somebody says, hey, can I borrow your pen? Nowadays, what do you do? Uh, ooh, I don't know, right? Now, Paul Fisher says a lot of the employees here are family. Some have been here between 20 and 60 years. He says that they're actually thinking about expanding their manufacturing, potentially bringing more jobs to the state. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.